Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is going to be week 15 of Sparky's Cast, Sparky's versus CJ Intis Game 2. And uh, the heavyweights have come out to box for a round. This is going to be Lita versus Effort, the leaders of each team. And this ought to be a good one. Um, so, first, well, at the very beginning, let me say, Effort is here, the Purple Zerg, uh, in the northwest position. Lita is the Teal Terran in the southeast position. They are playing on New Tornado, and uh, what I wanted to do is, at the beginning of this, I was going to make the case for uh, Effort to win this match, which is, uh, first, he's 61% against Terran. Um, he's having a pretty ridiculous season. 18 and 7 so far. He is 4 and 1 against Terrans uh, so far this season, and uh, including wins against Haya and Mine recently. Two pretty good uh, Terrans in their own right. Um, so, effort. Yes. Awesome. Uh, now let me make the case for Lita. Lita, after having kind of a slow start, including a, um, I, I think a loss? No, actually, he didn't play against CJ in their first matchup. But uh, Lita, even after the slow start, has pulled himself up to a pretty nice 14-7. and seven. Oh, by the way, he's 64% against Zerg. Um, and... Uh, he hasn't really had to face too many really great Zergs. I mean, he, he played twice against Zero and, and won both of those, and he is actually undefeated against Zerg this season, 4-0. Um, also, uh, the other thing going for Lita is that he has won both of his games on this map, on New Tornado. Um, if you include old Tornado, I guess. Uh, Lita has won all four of his games on Tornado maps, so he is 4-0 against Zerg, and he is 4-0 against uh, opponents on Tornado. So Lita is um, definitely establishing himself at the in the top rungs of the Pro League once again, despite having um, not the best start in the world, um, pretty lackluster in general. But things are changing, and now Sparky's with a little bit of momentum and a lead in this match. Um, Lita, I think, has a good chance of toppling one of the best Zerg players in the world right now. Um, so far, uh, single expansion for effort. I don't know um, the timing of that. I was not paying attention. I was reading my notes. It happens. Uh, Lita has built two marines, so, or excuse me, two barracks so far, and um, has not yet tried to establish a um, an expansion. And I think that from the timing of that, that was probably a 12 hatch into a spawning pool. Two barracks now just finished. Um, a couple of marines already out on the field. Is he setting up to make that command center? Yes, he is. So, uh, two barracks into an expansion for Lita. So, um, both players setting up to likely move into a later game. Um, and Lita, with a very nice play here, predicting the path that that overlord would take. Uh, it's scouted over towards the northeast position. Um, and then once, you know, he found out that Lita wasn't there, he moved down to the, he was starting to move down in the southeast, and Lita's sending his two marines, almost being able to pick off that overlord. It's very close. Is it going to go down? Oh, no. It, I think it's going to get away. Wait, no. It does go down. A little bit of uh, movement right there by those marines finally gets it in a position, and so he is able to take out a very early overlord. Um, so, <laughs> nice play there. Uh, just good knowledge of the scouting routes of overlords. One of those marines is in danger, and it looks like one marine does go down. A uh, second marine goes down too, but they are finally able to clear out all of those initial zerglings. So the zergling, uh, the initial first, I think, six zerglings have been dealt with, and uh, those two barracks have been paying off for Lita, being able to get a very good early overlord kill, um, and be able, and simultaneously, of course, defend his natural expansion. Um, in the meantime time, it looks like uh, Lair has been started for effort, so he is go he is moving up the tech route, Academy going down for uh, Lita. Um, these, you know, with the cross map position and the builds that these guys are going for, I'm thinking that this is going to be uh, moving into a later game for these guys, so 
likely to see uh, huge amounts of Medica Marines coming from Lita, and uh, we'll see if he can pull out some Flash-esque macro management when it comes to uh, when it comes to Medica Marines here, um, that would be very exciting. Oh, Spire already uh, almost up. Um, I, I guess I missed the placement of that Spire, but uh, Effort has almost completed a Spire, and Lita's forming up this little wall over there. Uh, very worried about a run by it looks about, it looks like even a couple of SEVs out there to take a couple of hits if need be but effort decides better of it and is still holding those zerglings back and waiting for his spire to complete that is almost done right now and uh, the first mule should be on the way pretty soon a couple of marines already out and uh, lead is going to push out a little bit with that medic that first medic and marine force um, I don't think that Effort has had to put down any defenses, so I don't even know if he has a sunken colony at his main base, but Effort, with a nice little move there, sneaking in, trying to get a run by, actually not deciding not even to run by, sticking at the na uh, the natural expansion, um, takes out at least one SCV, maybe a second one right here with that last Zergling, but Lita reacting pretty well and being able to clear out, uh, clear out those Zerglings after only losing one SCV. Not too bad, but still, losing that SCV was... Uh, or getting that SUV is a nice play by, there by effort. Uh, sorry, having a sip of my coffee, doing some morning casting. Uh, something I usually don't do. It's usually mid-afternoon when I start casting, but uh, trying in the morning this time. Let's see how it goes. Um, ooh, Effort already with his first mutalist, six mutalists already, and uh, picking off one of that one of those first fire bats. Those fire bats aren't going to be particularly useful if Lita's not going for a sunken break. But ooh, Zergling ca uh, timing attack coming in with those mutalists and being able to take out a good number of those marines. But Lita is finally able to hold that. Those mutalists are forced to retreat, and a third barracks is going down. Um, for <laughs> for Lita, and he is just now getting up turrets. I think if uh, if Effort had gone immediately into the main base or even into the natural expansion, I don't think those turrets would have been up in time to uh, properly defend against the Mutilus, but uh, unfortunately, I guess he decided to engage with the Medic Marines instead, and... Um, you know, only got a few marine kills, which is uh, not exactly what he wants. In the meantime, he has expanded twice now, it looks like. He has a base over in the 9 o'clock and in the southwest corner. So he is moving up to four bases rapidly, and this could be uh, trouble here for Lita if, uh, if Effort is able to maintain his map control using those mutalists, and he's able to go on to four bases. He could just uh, produce so much crap that Lita is not going to have too much he can say about that. Uh, effort coming in to pick off a little bit of reinforcements as they spawn out of these barracks and being able to take out the, uh, the turret as well, but after that deciding to come back to re to defend and there are no defenses other than these uh, mutilists out in the field one mutilist goes down just by uh, smart reaction by Lita seeing those mutilists coming and chasing him down but there are no sunken colonies over the natural expansion so if Lita is able to get those medica marines all the way in there somehow then he will be in good shape some supplementary uh, mutilists being produced by effort so I, I really think effort has enough Mutalist to completely wipe out this army if he so desires. And yeah, as you can see right there, he's got enough now so that those uh, those Marines, even with the medics uh, helping them out, they're just able to kill the Marines in one hit, even multiple Marines dying in single hits um, from those Mutalists. That is just a ton. And it looks like maybe that's another expansion going down at the main base in the, or excuse me, the natural expansion of the southwest base. Um, maybe that is just an overlord and there's only one base there. Yeah, I think that's the case. Um, so, yes, yeah, still just getting on to four bases, but Lita is still trapped at two. Um, a Medica Marine Terran can last on two bases for a very, very long time, so I wouldn't necessar necessarily say that... Um, that lead is uh, really in trouble by being this far behind economically, but the main danger is that on four bases, especially with four gas, Zerg can... Maybe I am... 
Yeah, I'm getting my <laughs> I'm getting my spawn con positions confused. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen a tornado map. Sparky's has somehow been managed to avoid a torna new tornado for most of this round too. Um, but anyways, yes, that so that is the main base there. That is not the natural expansion. Um, 